Until I came to UMass Lowell, I was unaware of a lot of things. Uh, I really can't say I was aware of assistive technology. Now it's, it's sort of opened my eyes. UMass Lowell has been doing it for, I believe, about 15 years, which amazes me that a lot of people don't know about it. They, University of Massachusetts is in the forefront of, of all this technology. I can't imagine what could be more rewarding than learning how to do something and at the same time being able to help someone. I've decided to do this particular project for a young lady in Torino, Italy. Her name is Anna. Uh, this is one picture of Anna. So you notice that million dollar smile. I call it a voice control system. Uh, what it does is using voice and it doesn't matter what language. In Anna's case it's Italian. It allows the user to use the voice to control various devices. I hope she enjoys uh, what I've developed for her as much as I've enjoyed developing it. Uh, it's something that I've really put my heart into. So it'll be very exciting just to meet the family, uh, meet the father who I've been communicating with, and obviously meet Anna, who I've been dedicating my time for the past year, year and a half on this device. And I can't wait to see the look on Anna's face when she gets to do, turn on some of these toys or play with the computer, um, even make some phone calls. I can't wait. Uh, let me show you what I have for you. I hope, uh, I hope this is to your liking. That's great. Okay. To lessen the chance of having uh, a bad command. So she will say, computer, select if she wants to click. Computer, drag, and it will stay there until she says drop. Anna um, had this car accident with all the family, with all my family, two years and a half ago. It's a spinal cord injury that uh, makes her um, completely um, with no movement under the neck. Hello, Anna. Come dici? Hello. Hello. Very okay. good. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> Very nice to meet uh, you. So we're gonna, I want her to say it again and we're gonna see if it comes up 20, okay? Ciao. Ciao. Anna. <laughs> She's all excited. È una cosa seria, Anna. Vabbè. She doesn't feel... Uh, Comfortable. She doesn't no, feel... No, she doesn't feel that everything is so serious. Uh, she, the, 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 all the situation, everything is very new. Do you want me to show him what it does first, or do you want me to yeah, just... Yeah, yeah, okay. please show him. Okay. okay. Toy two, select. Toy two, select. Mia. Mia. Hey, Vito, Davide ha fatto partire la fermato. Toy two, select. I think we found, okay, so this is what we need to do. We need to find, if it takes all week, we need to find words that work for her. It's a very successful does she like? Does she like this? Does she like this? Yeah? She was somehow shy and not so confident, but now that she has seen that the brother is He's Excellent making idea. something so... Excellent uh, idea. She's starting to understand that, that she could be a good idea also for her as well. The, the, the routine, the daily routine is very, very complicated. We have to, to, to bring Anna to the hospital for different checkups during the month, three, four times a month. Do you get to sleep at night? Uh, depends. Yeah. Not, not every day. Tonight I, I was awake at four o'clock and uh, uh, for the, 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 the beep beep of the, of the ventilator and uh, I wasn't able to, 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 to sleep again. So 
but that's a common common day. Uh, so I'm very glad for this. Because the brother plays uh, football at home, as you can see. <laughs> uh, but she cannot do, uh, do the same thing. She, so she's not very very happy for that. But uh, that's a good thing only for her. Is there any possibility that she'd ever be able to walk again? Mm, I don't. With the the the, the current uh, situation in medicine, uh, no. This was Anna when I. Maybe when the period of time, autumn 2005, when I write the first email to UMass, I can show you a short clip. Anna, before the accident, when she was three years old. She's always had this smile. Always. 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 I hope that this device gives her an opportunity not so much to show off to her friends, but perhaps being able to do something that her friends cannot do, since they're able to go out and play. Uh, Anna can't play uh, the games that they play, but certainly now she's going to be able to do things that they can't do just by using her voice. I was going to call it VCS. What name would she like for it? Uh, I, I expect by the end of the week, I will get at least as big a smile uh, as I saw her in her picture. She understood very well that she did that the most important thing because now she has the motivation to go on. In Italy it's very different. Uh, it's very difficult uh, or maybe impossible that an, Ameri that an Italian university uh, rea realizes, makes projects become real. It's a great thing that uh, the project arrives to the, the, the house of the people and, and you can say that's the final project, I can bring this to you and you, you can use it, that it's personal for you. I think that's fantastic, it's, uh, in, in Italy it doesn't exist or maybe I, I didn't find it. But I didn't find it in Italy, I didn't find it uh, uh, in Europe, I didn't find it uh, in the US as well, in other universities. The only place where I, where I found something like this was the University of Massachusetts as well. This week has been a fantastic week. Everything is so strange for us because we don't have the, the, the opportunity to speak to foreign people every day. Uh, that's the most important thing, that we knew uh, new people and uh, new, uh, new friends. That's a good thing. In the, in the future weeks and future months, uh, my plan is to understand fully the, the working of the project and then I will uh, pass this knowledge to my daughter. That's not a Christmas gift, like a, a, a toy that you can take and use for some week or some weeks or maybe some months and then you put it away. This is a gift that uh, can last for uh, many, many years. It can last for the whole life, so it's uh, more than a gift is a project for the life and gives Anna, moreover, the, the opportunity to choose. He, and she has so few opportunities to choose in her life because she's, she cannot move at all and she's obliged and she's forced to do other people decide for her. And that's the thing that she can decide by herself. Do you like it or you don't like it? You, do you want to use it now or do you want to use it something else? That's one of the most important things the children can go at the, in the gardens uh, outside the road and they can, they can decide if they want to run or play soccer or s play something else. She cannot choose, she ca cannot have these opportunities. That's an opportunity, one more. She has a few, this is one more, and one is a big number in this case. Ancora? Delivering the device was a success. Uh, meeting the family was wonderful. Uh, I expect Anna is going to be able to use this device very successfully, uh, and it's going to open up the whole world for her. Choice is an important word. Every time you give a you give a child a choice, it's a gift.
the, the gift of the uh, that Michael brought us to us is is not a, a, a piece of hardware and software is a, a choice. It's not just for the person that receives the device. It's a life-altering experience for the person that gets to develop and deliver the device. Sometimes we take for granted that which we can do every day. Uh, simple things. Go for a walk, turn on a faucet, play on the computer. Here, you really get to see that there are people who can't do the things that we can do very easily every day, and it is a life-altering experience. <laughs> you get to do something for somebody, and in return, they're actually doing something for you. It's a, it's a wonderful experience. Even if they don't realize they're doing it for you, they are. Do you think Anna realized any of this? I don't know. Uh, whether she does or not, it doesn't matter, I know. Uh, to see her smile, to see her laugh, uh, to see uh, those beautiful eyes, it, it just it, it made it worthwhile for me, which is when I came here, I wanted to see that when she got to uh, play with the device. That made it all worthwhile for me. I'm amazed at the strength of the family. Uh, I, I don't I don't know how many people could go through what they've gone through. Uh, and be able to go through on a day-to-day -day basis uh, with Anna. The, the things I learned, uh, things such as uh, if the tube in her, for her tracheotomy were to fall out, she's within a minute of not being around anymore. That's a sobering thought. But to watch them as a family, to see their support staff, to see how they deal with it. We've been lucky because we, we met uh, the, the University of uh, Massachusetts, Lowell. I want to thank from my family, from the whole family. Uh, now I know that uh, that was only a dream, a possibility, but now it's coming true. <laughs>